Hi guys, welcome back to Big John TV. It is officially fall and I am ready to start all my fall recipes. It's apple time, so let's do an apple recipe. This one is super simple, just a few ingredients but loads of flavor. We're going to do cheesecake stuffed baked apples. Let's go. All right, we're using Granny Smith apples because these bake up really well. I like the little bit of tartness to contrast with all the sweet. We're gonna peel these bad boys and scoop them out. All right, next up we're gonna use our melon baller to scoop out the core. You want to make sure that you scoop out all the seeds without going all the way through. I've also thinned out the sides just a little bit to make more room for filling. Let's continue on. We're going to place these on a paper lined plate just so that they can catch any drips that may come out. We don't want these too juicy. Let's move on to the filling. In this bowl we have four ounces of cream cheese. This has been softened to room temperature. We're going to add in two tablespoons of white sugar, one egg, and one teaspoon of vanilla. And we'll mix this together till it's nice and smooth. All right, that looks pretty good. We're gonna set this aside and finish up the apples. All right, in this container, we have half a cup of white sugar. To that, we're gonna add two teaspoons of cinnamon. Stir until it's well combined. That looks good. All right, we're gonna take our store-made puff pastry and give it a quick roll out. I'm going to cut this into one inch strips. All right, so our apples are going to get coated in the cinnamon sugar. And then wrapped in our puff pastry. Press the pastry down around it. And then we'll set them on our baking sheet. Continue on with the other three apples. Scraps, we're going to cut out some little ovals. All right, each apple is going to get a little bit of our cheesecake filling. We'll brush these with a little bit of egg wash. It's just a beaten egg. And each apple will get a couple leaves.
All right, these are gonna go in a 400 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Ooh, check them out. Our apples are out of the oven. They look delicious, but they are freaking hot. We're gonna let these cool for a few and give them a taste. All right, check it out. They are done. I did finish them off with a little drizzle of caramel. Let's cut this open and take a look. I got glasses. Yes, in case anybody didn't notice, Maddie now is a glasses wearer. Ooh, check it out. Still really steamy. If we let these cool a little bit, the cheesecake would set up a bit more, but it's nice and hot and warm right now. Let's give them a taste. Okay. All right. Let's give this a taste. I'm trying to get some of the breading, some of the apples, some of the cheesecake. It's really hot, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Here, scoot over a bit. You're not quite on. There we go. So this is really, really warm. Mm. That's really good. It's not too crazy sweet. You get a lot of good flavor from the apple. It's very fresh tasting. The cheesecake is super decadent. What do you think? A win? I think that's delicious. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to eat a lot more of this. You pulled off a leaf. All right, Maddie, what do you tell them? Like, subscribe, share your friends. I'm not mad. It's just my face. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a quick one, it's a simple one, and it's a delicious one. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.